How's it going guys? What we got here today is the JXD 506G altitude hold 5.8 gigahertz FPV RC quadcopter. It is one menacing looking quadcopter. It looks kind of like a Klingon spaceship sort of. Oh, it is pretty significant in size as well. I try to put it in uh, one of my boxes. It will not fit with the props installed. I even try to put it in one of my plastic bins and that didn't work either. So I have to carry this thing outside of my boxes today. Uh, it is significant in size, like I said. The landing legs are pretty nice as well. It holds the quadcopter and lands the quadcopter pretty good. I don't think I'm gonna have any tilting issues with this one. Um, like I said, uh, it is a significant size and check out the arms the extra arms and stability uh, bars uh, On the arms. It's very nice and steady Let's take a look at the uh, camera here. It is a 5.8 gigahertz transmission uh, FPV camera uh, It was slid in this little anti jello mount slides in first and then you slide in the camera itself to the anti jello mount and plug in a couple of wires and you are all set. There's also a on and off switch as well. So let's go ahead and turn this baby on and see what we got here. Okay, the camera, you can tilt it and adjust it. Let's go ahead and turn on the monitor. And as you can see, we already have uh, FPV. Nice. It's a 4.3 inch monitor. Um, the channel this uh, Wi-Fi, uh, what am I saying, Wi-Fi? The channel this 5.8 gigahertz transmits is channel C4. I tried it with my goggles and it uh, is compatible. So you can use a different monitor or you can use a, another goggles for your FPV purposes. Now let's take a look at the transmitter. Let me go ahead and turn it on and bind it now it will not start because it has altitude hold uh, this button here is the start stop button uh, it also has an emergency stop button one key return button here uh, this is the headless mode button and camera for photos and videos now camera adjustment this trim button here works as a camera adjustment so let's take a look at the camera here let me go ahead and turn this thing on okay it's at the highest level let's turn it down maybe I'm doing this wrong let's go ahead and turn off the quadcopter let's go ahead and turn off the transmitter okay turning on the quadcopter one more time and turning on the transmitter and binding it Okay, now take a look at the camera and let's go ahead and tilt it up. There you go, tilting up. Makes this beeping noise on the transmitter and the tilt speed is very slow. Check it out. It almost go all the way down, so it's really nice. You can get some ground shots. You can bring it back up and it's a slow process it's a tiny bit jerky right there but it's still a smooth up and down movement so that's really cool okay let's bring that up now the transmitter has three speeds this is the speed changing button here and this button here is the flips and that is about it so let's go flying Oh, and another thing that I forgot to mention is the battery. Let's take a look at the battery here. Take that battery out. It is 2000 milliamp size battery with the same banana plug as the SEMA X8 quadcopters. So if you got some extra SEMA X8 batteries uh, lying around, you got some spare batteries for this quadcopter. Okay, we got it bounded. And let's take off with the one key start pressing this button here nice 
Now this is the first time that I've uh, spun those propellers. I have not flown this quadcopter yet. Oh look at that, it turns off by itself. It gives you a, a time frame window to take off. Let's go ahead and start it up again. Nice. Okay, let's take off. Oh. Okay, right away, there is the altitude hold. Oops, the monitor screen just fell down. The altitude hold is really nice. It is working really good. But right off the bat, this is full throttle. It's not a very powerful quadcopter. It has a lot of weight. But nevertheless, altitude hold is really nice on this one. Look at that, it's holding steady in one altitude height. And there's the wind taking it away. Let's bring it back here. Check that out, nice. Okay, I'm gonna lower the throttle a little bit. I'm thinking if you go all the way down on the throttle, the motors will shut off. So don't go all the way down. We'll check that out later. All right, that is the low speed. Speed number two. Looking good. Nice pitch. Not bad at all, actually. It's got a little speed. And altitude hold works really good. Speed number three. Oop, dips down in altitude as you saw there. So you don't want to go speeding around. This thing does have a little power issue, looks like. But the altitude hold uh, readjusts itself. Did you see that? There. Altitude hold brings it back up to that altitude before the droppage. Okay, let's bring it over here so you can see it better. Let me make that turn. Yep, and the altitude hold kind of brings it back up. There's the funnels. See, it drops in altitude. And by itself, it brings it right back up to where it was. Cool. So it does have a power issue, but it corrects itself. Pretty cool. Now, let's see if it does any flips. Whoa! Woo-hoo-hoo! It did a double flip. Did you see that? I'm going to put it and take it over to the grassy area. <laughs> I didn't expect that one. Okay, so we're going to do a flip again. Let me go bring it up in altitude a little bit more. So we don't have that kind of an accident. Okay, what do I need to do here? I'm trying to do a flip, but now it will not do a flip. Nope, it will not do a flip for me anymore. Nope, not anymore. Oh, that's kind of strange. Nope. Nope. Huh. Alrighty then. I don't think we need to do any flips with this monster anyhow. Okay, I'm bringing it down in altitude a little bit. Okay, um, I've got my throttle stick almost all the way down. So it takes a while for this quadcopter to come down in altitude as well. Okay, now let's check out the headless mode. And I'm pressing the headless mode button. Oops, let's bring it back a little bit here. You know what? 
I'm gonna go to speed number one so it doesn't drop in altitude there you go headless mode bringing it back towards me going away from me spinning and the annoying headless mode beep there you go all right headless mode works great now the one key to return one key return it's a slow one key return but nevertheless it's coming right back towards me all right get out of that one key return by down pressing the one key return button again am i still in headless mode yes i was still in headless mode okay so headless mode and the one key return works great let me try that one key return one more time okay it's got the bearing kind of mixed up okay get out of that uh, one key return cool now let's see what happens uh, it's supposed to have a 150 meter range let's see what happens uh, when you turn the transmitter off simulating the violation of that 150 meters let's go ahead and land it here very slowly all right now let's go ahead and start the motor What do I need to do here? The motors will not start. So I'm thinking we need to rebind. All right, so let's go ahead and rebind. Let's turn off the transmitter. Turn off the quadcopter. Turn on the quadcopter. Turn on the transmitter bind start the motor all right now let's turn off the transmitter simulating that loss of signal okay it turns off about one or one and a half seconds so that's great let's see if it rebinds yeah this time it rebounded huh that was strange so i guess when you put the throttle all the way down and land it it turns off and you cannot rebind see like that so what you need to do is restart the motors but it didn't want to restart the motors on that time huh okay let's go ahead and take off again it's kind of slow to take off but the altitude hold like i said works really good and it's a bad looking quad cutter too man okay i think the lights are flashing on the bottom so i'm gonna have to bring it down so that is the flight time on this thing. Let's land it in the grass there. It likes to jump once it lands. Okay, the motors are turned off. Now, let me try and restart the motors. It will not restart. So you have to re-engage the whole process of turning on the transmitter turning on the quadcopter once again to re-engage the motors okay let's go for a little fpv flight with the jxd 506g nice turning on the monitor I'm not getting anything. Oh, it's facing down. No wonder. Let's angle the camera up. There we go. A little higher, please. Now, if it can go any higher, you have to manually adjust it. So I can go up that high. And I got the view from the front. I got a little bit of the quadcopter's nose there. Ooh, it went straight down. So let me bring it back up.
straight forward, please. There we go. It will not go any higher. Let's go lower. Okay, now let's bring it back up. Hmm, guys, it will not go any higher than that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to manually adjust it so it has a front uh, level view and fly around right around there. I'm thinking that's a good angle there. Yep, that's a pretty good angle there. So let's go ahead and take off, start the motors, and let me go ahead and take a photo. That's a photo there. And let me move it this way here, take another photo. All right, that's a photo there. And let me take uh, a video to make sure that the video is working. Okay, the counter is on on the bottom right corner, so the video is recording. So let's go for a little FPV flight. All right, arm the props and like I said, my throttle is all the way up. But the takeoff is kind of gradual, it kind of takes its time. Okay, so I got FPV here. And since I have altitude hold, I do not have to worry about the height. I am flying completely FPV. Coming back towards the park. There it is. Turning around. Coming towards me. Let me go up in altitude just a little bit. a pretty good uh, FPV. Not bad. And it has the stock antennas turning around. Coming back towards the park. Hope you can see this monitor. Not bad. I should be right in front of me. Yep, there I am right there. Okay, coming back towards me. Let me go above the trees. Okay, I should be coming out from those trees there. Nice. Turning around. Really good FPV, guys. Oop, coming towards the tree. I don't want to do that. Okay, going towards the park. Let me turn around and face the quad. There it is. Nice. Turn around, turn around. That's more than 50 meters. And I still got good FPV. It's breaking up a little bit. But nevertheless, uh, this is a very decent FPV.
like I said, it uh, is able to transmit or the transmitting channel and the frequency is C4. So it is compatible with your other monitors or your goggles. So you can use your goggles or your other bigger monitors if you wish. But you know, this little monitor is good enough. The angle, the field of view is not as wide, not a really good fish eye angle, but you are able to make out where you're going and do pretty decent FPV flying. Going towards the camping house there. Okay, turn around. Come back towards the park. All right, pretty decent, man. Stop the video. Okay, let's take a photo from the sky. Do a yaw, take another photo. Take another photo. All right, let's bring it in. Not bad at all. Okay, let's go down in altitude now. And land this baby in the grass. I have my throttle stick all the way down. The motors do not cut off. So that's a good thing. Okay, that looks like a good landing spot. Throttle all the way down. Look at that, it does a little hop. All right. Take another photo.